when I assumed the presidency five years ago. Dominant in my mind were the dreams and visions of a better life for all Filipinos. I saw them as reachable through the institution of reforms and radical changes in both in the structure of government and the mode of governance. Changes design responsibility, accountability, and all, cons all in consonance with the truth that the public office is a public trust. When I ran for the presidency, I just made fundamental processes to offer free education. It's there already. Universal health care. Ranjanapo, the fight against illegal drugs, criminality, and corruption, and the development structure, including free irrigation and other big ticket projects, which I thought I did not have the funds to do it. But perchance, among others, they were done in my term. Today, as I approach my term, my end of my term, I have less visions, but more remembrances. But mine is not to you or to second guess what might have been, but to bear and respond with the urgency of the unforeseen events as they unfold. Because my purpose was pure and unpolluted. I stand here before you today bearing no conceit, but if there is one thing that I could be proud of, is that not once did I waver in doing the unpopular, even if, if it meant upholding the greatest good for the greatest number. Those who destroy my country, I will kill you. And those who destroy the young people of our country, I will kill you. Talagang ngayarin ito. Because I love my country. Gone are the days when the Philippines decides and acts in the shadows of the great powers. We will assert what is rightfully ours and fight for what is rightfully due to the Filipino people.